everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home and today I'm so excited to be sharing with you my brand new curtains that I made, I made these, out of Melka drop cloths. Melka is actually sponsoring me today, so thank you Melka. They make wonderful drop cloths that can be used in any number of DIYs. I have Melka linked below uh, along with the size of drop cloth that I use, which is the six foot by nine foot size. They actually come in several different sizes, and while some drop cloths have a seam that run down the middle, these do not. This makes it really ideal for making curtains. So they are incredibly affordable. You cannot beat the price, especially when it comes to curtain panels that are this size and length. So I used the six by nine size, six foot by nine foot, but they also come in four feet by 12 feet and nine feet by 12 feet. If I had bought curtain panels to do this project, I would have needed eight and I would have easily spent two to 300 bucks, like easily. I chose to make curtains out of these drop cloths because if you had watched my video in the fall I shared a video like five decorating mistakes that I've made one of those mistakes is the curtains that I chose for my living room they were too short they didn't quite touch the floor they weren't wide enough so that when we closed them especially at night there were always like little cracks and gaps that we would have to t constantly be adjusting the curtain so that we can <laughs> be seen through the window. Um, they didn't fully cover the window closed and they looked really thin open. So my dream <laughs> for my living room was to have a very full, very um, luscious, floor to ceiling, very dramatic look around the window. My decorating taste is really solidifying in a more romantic cottage style. This really dramatic floor to ceiling curtain idea would really play nicely into my home decor. But the cool thing about drop cloths is that you can use them in multiple different styles of homes because they're dyeable if you wanted to dye them, but also because they're so neutral. They could work in a farmhouse easily, they would be so pretty in a traditional home, transitional decor. I mean, I just feel like they could work in almost any style because they're so neutral. So let me walk you through my DIY process. But the cool thing about Melka drop cloths is because they don't have that seam down the middle and they're hemmed fully on all sides, you could just buy curtain clips and clip them up, no sew at all. You could also use like a hem tape if you would like, but I chose to sew mine because it's one straight line and I figured you know I can handle one straight line and I really wanted like a soft billowy look or even at the top of the curtains so I went for that but there's definitely those no sew options if you if you decide to do that I washed them first just on warm drying them on regular so after they came out of the dryer I laid them out on the floor and just directly ironed onto the floor now that's what I chose to do if you would prefer to put like a towel or something under Underneath, you certainly could. I just have cheap vinyl flooring in my house, so I didn't mind going straight onto the floor. My iron is quite wimpy, so for me, I wasn't concerned about it, but feel free to do it differently if you're more comfortable with that on your floor. I was so happy with the texture of them after I washed them. They, made, they got softer. So I folded the top down by six inches to create that rod pocket for my curtain rod. I checked with my measuring tape all the way down just to sort of make sure it was even throughout. And then I ironed it nice and flat, gave it a really good crease. I pinned down that top to really hold it in place while I was sewing. And I only had to sew that one straight line. I used simple white thread that I had on hand. And I made sure to place the curtain panel so the curtain itself was out to the left and not like having to squish through the middle of the sewing machine. So that makes it nice and simple to have the curtain, the bulk of the fabric going to your left. So I am such a novice when it comes to sewing. I have just a very simple sewing machine. It's actually my daughter Molly's sewing machine. And so you don't have to have like super advanced skills or machinery to do this if you choose to sew the rod pocket. I'm so proud of myself because 
I'm not like, you know, a skilled se seamstress on any stretch of the imagination, but I sewed curtains and I just feel so proud of myself for that. So to install, it's just like any other curtain. I just slipped them right onto my curtain rod and we did have a bit of a mishap when we were putting the rod back up on the holder. <sighs> I have these gorgeous finials that I just adore. They're this soft blue aqua color and they're glass. Well, we bumped one on the ceiling and it shattered and broke. And it was like so sad. It was sad. And my poor husband, he was the one who was holding it. He felt so bad. He's like, I'm so sorry. I feel sick. I feel so bad that I broke your <laughs> finial. We looked on Amazon because that's where I bought them a few years ago and they no longer carry them. We've looked on eBay, we've looked everywhere and we can't find them. So I'm going to have to look like at thrift stores or something and see if I can find something similar that's a similar shape and paint it because I love these so much. Accidents happen and you know what, we're still so happy with the curtains that we still think it was 100% worth it. <laughs> So after they were hung, I borrowed a steamer from my friend Ashley and she watches my videos. So thank you, Ashley, for letting me borrow your steamer. And I just gave the curtains a good steam just again to relax the fabric and, and um, get out any of those little crinkles that uh, were stuck there from us hanging them up. But that's of course a step that you don't have to do. I just chose to do. And the result when they were up, it was just stunning. I am so pleased with them. The drama, the length, the pooling, they pool so perfectly at the bottom of the floor. They are so family friendly because they're a durable fabric. I can wash them if something horrible gets spilled on them or, you know, sticky fingers grab them. They're going to hold up to my two boys especially. So I'm really happy with how durable they are, but also just how pretty they are. I feel like they add so well to this romantic sort of billowy, almost French cottage inspired look that I'm really drawn to right now. They draw the eye up and I love how even at the top of the curtain rod looks soft and pretty before I had grommet curtains and nothing against grommet curtains. I've loved them for years but they do have more of a modern look. I love how this is softer and just even curved at the top. They cover my windows so well. There are no more weird gaps. It's just exactly what I was hoping for. I am so pleased that Melka has offered you guys a 10% coupon code if you would like to order them. This makes the affordability of these curtains that much more affordable. So the coupon code is SWEETWOW and I'll put it here on the bottom of the screen and I will also make sure to link it down below so that you can get that 10% off. I can't wait for you guys to try this in your homes because it's just so wonderful and beautiful and I hope you guys um, give it a shot if you need curtains. There's so many other applications for these that you could do and I've just thought of a few of them. <laughs> you could make pillows out of these, obviously curtains, but things like aprons or buntings and banners would be so cute with this fabric. It's dyeable so you could dye it to whatever color that you wanted. I think basket liners would be really cute with this fabric and even like a bed skirt, especially if you wanted to add a little ruffle. I think it'd be so cute. So the possibilities are unlimited there's so many so much creative potential with this product so again I'll link it down below don't forget to use that 10% coupon code and thank you Melka for offering that to my viewers I'm really grateful for that so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my curtains. I know I am just so, so, so happy with them. And I hope if you're new here that you will hit that red subscribe button and come back for more. We are in the process of renovating our basement and I have lots of projects on the docket down there and yard sale season is upon us. So if you love yard sale and thrift hauls, I have lots of those coming this spring and summer. So please hit that red subscribe button and stick around for more. Thanks so much everyone for watching. Take care and I'll be back with more soon.